everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. We are continuing the panning journey today, this time with an update from my eyeshadow usage project pan. So again, the whole purpose of this project, bring in a random eyeshadow from my spreadsheet using the random number generator, use that shadow 10 times, and then move on to the next one, which allows me to get progress on my entire collection but without burning out and trying to do a more traditional pan that palette or a pan those eyeshadows. Now, before we get into the update proper, I do want to let you guys know about something super exciting that went on with my eyeshadows. This is the first time that this has happened where I actually was able to make some serious progress on something that wasn't in this project. It was, however, in This Is Fantasy. So, of course, if you've seen that video, you are already aware of this. I want to show you guys something from this one. So this is the Ditto. This is the Venus palette. It was a limited edition palette. It came in BoxyCharm two years ago? Year and a half? Came in BoxyCharm at some point. Um, this was rolled into that project and the intro, which was before I decided I would start doing this project. So I had rolled it in for 25 uses. And you guys, I hit pan! So here on Phoebus, this was kind of like a orangey brown shade. I would use it in my crease. I have hit pan on that. And so I wanted to share that with you guys in this project as well, since you're interested, obviously, in my eyeshadow consumption. So thank you so much. So I wanted to give that quick little update about this very exciting progress. So yeah, this wasn't in this project, but because it was something exciting with the eyeshadows, I wanted to share it with you guys. Now let's get into the actual progress for this project. So of course, I roll in three shadows at a time. And let's start with one of the oldest ones. So this is one of the original three I rolled in as the last one standing. And that, of course, is this one here. Uh, so this is the Mary Kay. This is Emerald Noir. I have used this now 10 times. So I had four uses left that I had to do since my last update. I have now finished it. And it's okay. This particular shade I tended to use in the outer corner as a pop of color. Um, I did use it all over the lid a couple times as well, but I found when I did that there was a lot more fallout during the day. So it's kind of like dark under eye down here by end of day, which isn't a great look. Um, so I tended to prefer this in the outer corner. And it didn't have a ton of use when I started. And I don't know, I feel like with those 10 uses, I was able to make some kind of visible progress because I do try to wear them down evenly. But regardless, I am kind of glad that this one is done, or at least my goal is met on it, which meant it came from this palette here. So a lot of single depotted magnetic stuff. And of course, I was playing with the Mary Kay stuff here when I was playing with Emerald Noir. So that is done, got my 10 uses, and so now this is going to be rolling out of the project. Before we talk about what's going to replace that one, let's talk about the two eyeshadows that I rolled in in my last update. And the first one comes from this Butter London palette. This is the Natural Goddess palette. The palette looks like this. So again, pretty every day with a couple pops in there. The one I had rolled in was Temptress, which was this dark brown color here, which I tend to use to kind of deepen up the outer corner. Um, there isn't a crease color in here, so I do have to dip into a different palette. And I don't, I don't know. I struggle a little bit with this palette, um, simply because it just... I did get it in a boxy charm. Now this blue in Femme Fatale, I have tried using this one uh, all over the lid. So like I used Temptress in the outer corner, this one all over the lid with like a glitter on top. And it just fades so fast. And I think these colors don't fade as quickly as this blue does. But I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about this palette overall. Like yeah, I can get some pretty looks with it. And I don't want to declutter it, but I'm also considering decluttering it. That's kind of where I'm at at this point. Um, it's kind of the thought process I've had previously with this palette. In terms of the project, uh, Temptress was what was rolled in. I have used it six times since the last update, which means I need to use an additional four times to be able to roll it out. 
And with those four uses, I think I need to really play with these other shades down here and try to figure out, do I really need slash want this particular palette? So that's kind of where I'm at with Natural Goddess. The last palette I ruled in, this is actually a newer palette from BoxyCharm. This is the Ciate London, the Spice palette. Beautiful, like fall vibe kind of palette. I really do enjoy it. Uh, the one that I had rolled in for this project is this one here in Pumpkin Soup. I'm pretty sure last update I kept trying to call it Pumpkin Spice because that's where my brain goes with pumpkin. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. But this shade is actually Pumpkin Soup. This is the palette I am wearing today. Because of this being the shade that I have rolled in, I find that kind of limits my options of what I can actually do with this palette. So it is very much a uh, these in the crease, that all over the lid, that in the outer V kind of look. So for that reason, I have only used this palette three times so far. So I still have a fair way to go to meet my goal of 10 uses. But I do enjoy it. It's a pretty look. It's a, it's a nice palette, easy to use, hard to open though. Like I'll just show you guys on camera super quick. You gotta, oh, there we go. You kind of really have to pop it open. So that's a little bit annoying with this packaging, but it is a very nice palette. I am enjoying reaching for it. So because we were able to roll out Emerald Noir, we get to bring something new into this project. So as you guys are seeing now, I have a little video for my random number generator. Of course, each of those numbers corresponds with a single pan of eyeshadow in my collection. Most of them, of course, are from palettes. And the number that it picked for me is 301. And you might be thinking, that sounds a little bit familiar because in the very first video when I rolled three palettes in to start off this project, I rolled in shade number 302. You can already tell this is going. So that means we have our very first repeat palette. And so the Makeup Forever, this is their, sorry, the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation palette is back. So the last time that you guys saw this palette, I had rolled in the shade Neptune here, this blue color. So you can see we got some nice usage on that. Uh, and with rolling a 301, that means I have now rolled in the shade Universal. And Universal, I'll throw a picture up of as well, right, is a dark brown, which means I can use it in that outer V, kind of deepen up that corner, which means that unlike Neptune, um, Universal is going to give me a lot of flexibility for this project. So I can use almost anything in conjunction with Universal. Um, so that means I'll be able to play with some of the shades I wasn't able to do before. Um, so then we'll get really into things like, um, I want to get into Dimension down here. That one looks really pretty. Cosmic looks gorgeous. I didn't play with that with Neptune either. So it'll give me a little bit more flexibility. It's still going to provide more overall colorful looks, although I do have like a gold and a bronze in here if I want to go more neutral. It's a little bit strange how we've already rolled in a duplicate palette because I do have so many eyeshadows that there are 528 in my collection right now. And we rolled in two that were literally right beside each other. So what are the odds of that? This shade, I do have much more of a universal Kind of approach. So in terms of goals for next time, it's a very interesting thing that I've just realized now as I'm filming. But of course, Universal and Temptress are going to serve very similar functions for me. Um, and I'll try to put those pictures up side by side so you can see that dark brown coming through. So with that, of course, in mind, and this was kind of the goal I thought of last month, even in my update when I had rolled this palette in, because of course, April into May is a very busy time for work for me. This is a much more kind of quick look kind of palette. I do want to get this one complete. I do only have four uses left on it. So again, that gives me Temptress plus playing with more of these shades. And that might help me decide if I want to keep this palette. So I'm not sure yet. I'll get to play with it. But that is going to be my main priority because, again, I do have two similar dark brown shades that are going to serve a similar function for me. 
So we're gonna get one of them rolled out at least. So we're gonna do the butter London. So that will leave me universal and pumpkin soup. And so I do have a palette that is rolled into this fantasy as well. That one also has six uses left before I can roll it out. So I do have that as a priority in another project. But I do want to make more use on uh, the Ciate London palette, again, because it has more color variety than Universal does, right? So because of that, I want to make some good progress on this. I don't think I'll be trying to roll this one out, so I have that other palette I want to roll out, plus other eyeshadows and other projects. But I think that is going to be my initial uh, starting off point. So again, get this one finished, get this rolled out, and then simply play with these two. So I might be trying to push the Butter London a little bit sooner right off the bat so I can start playing with that universal shade since it is going to be very similar in terms of its purpose. But that is everything. That is going to wrap up this update for us on my eyeshadow usage. So again, we had one shade roll out, a new one roll in, and we'll get to, uh, get to do some more planning. And I will see you guys in one more month for my update. So again, subscribe because this video isn't on a necessarily set date. It does go around the midpoint of the month. But if you want to make sure you're notified as soon as it goes up, make sure you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.